Alright, uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen Welcome to my channel And the name of my channel is Maestro Jun channel And uh, this channel is Made purposely for you to be informed regarding Criminology subjects and many others Like uh, agriculture, fishing and other skills and so on now this day we will discuss on the ROTC or the reserve officer training corps the reason why it was involved or it was um, uh, even part of the college or even in high school before it was uh, really part and they included us the CIT or the Citizen Army Training, but in college, they uh, name it as the Reserve Officer Training Corps. Now, we will discuss why this Reserve Officer Training Corps uh, added in the course or added as a subject in the college not only criminology that will take it, but uh, those other students who really wanted to become a cadet or a member of the reserve force. Well, uh, gentlemen, as the history tells us that uh, really we need to have a reserve force for in history, then if we still uh, remember, we came from World War One, this World War Two. Then, uh, yes, we became uh, very successful with it, but as uh, we all observed, this was not uh, really good enough for we are lack of people, lack of materials, technology, and the like. Now, the government created the Reserve Officer Training Corps or the ROTC. And uh, solely the purpose of this is to make the Philippine government equipped with knowledge, skills, and number of people to fight during the time of insurgency, during the time of insurgency or a war. Well, we don't have yet war or we don't have World War III, but uh, still as a technique or a strategy of any government or any country, they need to ready with it. Now, the ROTC in the Philippines or the Reserve Officer Training Corps in the Philippines, they created this to make the force or to make the armed forces of the Philippines very strong. Then, this was created, of course, with the presence of the law. We have the law. In the law, we have the RA uh, 7077, creating this uh, ROTC or the reserve, okay? creating the reserve, reserve force, I should say. Now, my dear friends, the reserve force is very important for the government alone that when these students will graduate in the college and... After uh, graduation, they will be part of the reserve because they will be given the serial number. And then if they want to continue to become a member of active in the field of military, they can do so for they have already given the so-called serial number. If you are a graduate of ROTC, you will be given a serial number and that will be your uh, assigned name or assigned uh, code that uh, when you will be that when you will be come or you want to be part of the military, this will be used. This will be used 
then of course when you will become army or you will become maybe a navy and other or air force the the rotc will really be used then this will be a stepping stone for you to move into higher position like for example when you are in when you are in college you are just a cadet then after cadetship you will move into a real military man and then the ROTC in we will talk in to the college the ROTC now will give of course a different trainings well we have there the military training we have there also uh, calisthenics you will be given a part of the whole course you will be given a part of training military physical uh, we have also theoretical theoretical we have also uh, exercises uh, for example moving to rivers mountains jogging and so on then we have also uh, the so-called uh, what's that i forgot that matter uh, we have also the disarming techniques that is included for a military could uh, all could also could know also how to disarm people okay especially the lawless uh, element next is the disassembly and assembly and then we have also many other activities in our OTC now to give you an idea what uh, really our OTC is is that only for training is that only for just uh, using camouflage or using BDA or using a very good uniform no it's not ROTC tends tend to to give an idea to give information or to inject to our students the so-called patriotism or the love of country that when a student will be joining the ROTC this will this uh, he will be uh, given a lecture on the love of his own country that he will not fight against the country okay patriotism not only that when you will be joining the ROTC uh, later on if you want to become an officer you will be and this will be your stepping stone to become a military man or to become a uniform personnel in the military there are many uh, branches or groups that were supposed to belong if you want to belong in like for example in army we have the navy with the air force and the like now if you will be joining the ROTC not, so, not only that uh, you will be given the chance to become military and so on and so forth but of course you will be uh, recognized as a worker of the government and that is a very good opportunity for us to work in the government and now not only that well as a human being or a person we need also money uh, a member now of military they receive a very good salary not unlike before but uh, since then the salary of military now is very high so it's very good that um, you join the ROTC this will be your stepping stone 
after graduation or even you will not graduate in the college for as long you got uh, units to include your OTC well uh, this could be good for you now other in uh, ROTC while you are in college you will be given scholarship in the army or in other uh, branch of the armed forces of the Philippines like uh, our students before they are receiving 11,000 15,000 something like that in uh, one year so that could be a very good start for a college like you or for a student like you okay just uh, join the ROTC and then you will be given the opportunity to have these benefits all right now other aside from those when you will graduate of course if you wish to continue your career in the military this will be a very good uh, instrument that will be used in going to the real uh, land of military you will use this not only by the experience that you have experienced during the college life but you will use this for you know already the discipline of a military man the heart of military man now ladies and gentlemen join the ROTC you will be given all these benefits and this will be used as your stepping stone this day this blog will uh, just start up on the subjects of ROTC there will be another topics that will be given you just uh, follow me in my channel do not forget to subscribe thank you and good day